Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Plays. This time, we have another PlayStation game, PS1. This is a game that was given to me by my friend Kevin. Uh, some of you may remember way back when I used to stream World of Tanks with him quite a lot. And we used to have a lot of fun. I used to work with him um, quite a while ago now. And uh, he's a really good chap. And I actually missed that guy quite a lot. Haven't really caught up with him for a long time just due to, well, the fact that I don't really have any time for that sort of stuff these days. Just, uh, yeah, I really should drop old Kevin in line actually um anyway he found a box of PlayStation games in his attic or in his garage at one point and he threw them all out can you believe it apart from a few that he found and this was one of the as well apart from a few that he had left over mental might not have been him might have been someone that he knows now I can't remember but anyway this is one that survived the chop so this is Panzer Front on the original PlayStation. Now, the team that made this game um, apparently um, had a hand in making World of Tanks. This is where they got the inspiration from. This is the precursor, if you will, to the World of Tanks idea. It's a World War II game, obviously. Um, but this one's based around controlling tanks. It actually looks quite good. Um, he said he, Kev said he played this back in the day and he really enjoyed it. So, very uncomfortable seat right now. Um, so yeah, uh, been looking forward to this. This has been sitting on my shelf for a good couple of years now. So it says on the back, spearhead and attack as you smash through the hedgerows of occupied France. Take out the enemy in a furious earth shattering assault in the frozen wastes of the Eastern Front. Featuring over 25 scenarios covering the whole of World War II. Hmm. And more than 40 tanks authentically modelled on their real life counterparts. That's interesting. Who made this? Doesn't say. Oh, this is JVC. We've already looked at another JVC game on the PlayStation. We looked at um, Wingover. Yeah, now the box of this game is quite nice. Very nicely uh, coloured. But if we go inside, we do like to go inside around these parts. It's actually got a very nice inlay. You can see there of a Sherman, is that? Might be a Stuart. Hmm. And uh, the disc as well is very nice. The manual is quite a thick one as well, which is cool. Oh, and there's even nice colour on the back as well, which you don't often see. Inside, it's all black and white, though. Holy hell. Oh, <laughs> what are we getting into? This is, this is complicated. Damn, there's a lot to this. This is going to be an interesting one, guys. Let's pop the disc in. And see what we see. We are, of course, as always, running this on uh, the real hardware. This is running on a real PlayStation 1. Let's pop the disc in. Get in. There we go. Get in, you bastard. Right. So let's switch over to the game and see what happens. Hopefully good stuff. Oh, that's so good. Love that PlayStation sound. Show schmucks you. Now, I am very much looking forward to this. I used to have one on the PC called um, Armored Fist, I believe. Was it Armored Fist? Yeah, Armored Fist. That was great. That was like an arcade tank sim game. That's definitely a different logo uh, from Wingover. They did like their full motion video back when CDs became the thing. Okay, visually, I'm impressed. Looks like we get um, Churchill tanks as well.
gun mortar carriage. Graphics are well impressive for the PlayStation 1. I guess generic-ish uh, military intro. About what you'd expect, to be fair. Oh, so we've got credit, load, and start. Mm, okay, well, I guess we're going to start. Tank select tactics, tutorial, and options. Now, usually I go for the tutorial. Maybe it might be worth doing it. Veteran. Now starting mode tutorial. Okay. Yeah, that was odd. Odd translation there. Still, whatever. Now we're going to give this game a fair chance. We always judge it by, not by today's standards, but we judge it for the time period. All right, we're going to teach you how to operate one of these tanks now. Sounds good. Listen carefully, because we're only going to tell you once. Okay. In order to maneuver the tank, use L and R buttons. All right. To go forward, press the L2 and R together. To go, oh god, this is gonna be weird. Okay. Right. The tanks in this game have four speed transitions, okay. So we've got four gears. Oh, bloody hell. Of course you can choose a tank equipped with an automatic transition to transmission. Hmm. Right, let's talk about gunnery. Move the square sight in the center of the screen to an enemy tank. How do we do that? There's one off to the left there. Once you've got them in your sights, push the circle button and fire. The turret will begin to turn slowly, so keep pushing that circle button. Make the fine aim adjustments and hit that again. Okay. Of course, the most important thing to remember here is the shells are pulled down by gravity. Oh, there's shell physics. Like you see here, that causes the shell to hit the ground in front of the enemy. To hit distant tanks, you have to adjust your aim upwards. In order to solve this problem, tanks in World War II had scales like this on their gun sights. Use the triangle and square buttons to adjust the sight up and down. Read the distance to the enemy. Then adjust the sight manually till the number showing the enemy's distance is aligned. Okay. Well, we didn't actually get to try any of that, I don't think. Tank battles. Uh, in tank battles, the winner is the one, uh, almost always the one who finds their enemy first. Never stop looking for the other guy. Those triangular markers will pop in and out of view. So watch carefully at all times. Ah, okay.
tanks that are outside the field of view of the screen will be marked like this. Got ya. Turn quickly to the left and destroy them. Nice. Now let's talk about high explosive rounds. These are designed to blow up a target rather than punch through it. So use those on enemy fire points. Buildings and lightly armoured vehicles. First fire points. Select the HE round indicated by the yellow marking and use the controller's select key. Take into account the distance. Ooh. That was good. Destroyed fire points will be marked with X on the map. Okay. So let's take a look to help keep track of things. Second, anti tank guns. Those are very small targets and they're often hidden in the terrain. Yeah, I can imagine. Make sure you take aim very carefully. The key is to aim for the ground on which the target is sitting. Makes sense. Since the target is so small, sometimes a shot can go over the top like this. But with shots like this, the target is bound to take damage from the nearby explosion again. Keep the shots coming. So I guess when it's smoking like that, it's dead. Alright. Just don't forget about anti-tank guns. They're a very dangerous enemy. When you uncover one, don't waste any time destroying it. That's all the explaining we're going to do for now. Don't forget what I told you. Well, I've already forgotten most of it. This is going to be like, I don't want to say a simulator, but as close to a simulator as you could probably get on the original PlayStation. Just controlling the tank sounds difficult. Well, tank select. Uh, I like the look of the short ball. Okay, let's go for the short ball. This thing looks gnarly. Oh, select map. Okay, it actually tells you like the armor and everything there. Um, US training, okay. So we've got two different types of training. Let's just get into a battle, shall we? Mission briefing. Begin an attack on the south from St. Jean de Dane. Capture two points shown and assist the infantry units attack on Point Herbert. That's it. Okay. Doesn't sound too difficult. I say optimistically as I'm preparing my ass for failure. Hmm. Right. Begin your advance towards Point Herbert. Okay. So, move out. So, that was both of the L2, well, both of the shoulder buttons together. Just to move the turret, we've got that. Okay. And we are getting, we're actually like hitting the tank in front, which is concerning. Yeah, the graphics are very nice for the original PlayStation. So if we push the top two, we actually reverse, okay. So we can change gear. Oh, this looks like it's got automatic transitions. So that's good for us. I literally cannot see. Found the enemy. Oh, 
What are you shooting at? I don't know, Sunny Jim. Oh, look at that. Look at that on the actual um, reticle there. You see, they put the shell in. And then they put the actual, um, like, propellant behind it. That's really cool. Now, how do we change shells? Right, let's just keep like that. How do we move again? How do we get out of the aiming? Okay, like that. It's a shame we have to go into the target sights. Before actually um, being able to fire. Alright, let's try and get a moving target. Right, okay, so Bola 2 struck gold. Okay. One of our tanks has already been knocked out. Let's keep moving forwards. Roll forwards, men! Forwards! Oh my god. Controlling this thing is not nice. This is such a weird game. Like, the way it's controlling is bizarre. But look at how detailed the tank model is. Oh, we've spotted an assault gun. Okay. Right, well, let's try and take him out. Bowler 4 has just brought the farm. Okay. Damn, we've lost. Oh, shit. There's a lot of enemies. Right, forwards! Roll forwards. Literally cannot see. Fuck all. Okay, how do we get out of the gun sight? There we go. Right. Evening, Sunny Jim. Boom! That's all she wrote. That takes care of that. Right, load the next shell in. Let's roll. Right, let's get this demon of the battlefield moving. Let's try and turn this fucking tank around. Come on. Another one, dead ahead. See if we can get an angle on him. Oh, just taking a hit. Come on. Come on. We are taking some... We're in big trouble here now. Yeah, I know. Ooh. Front armor taking a hit. Come on. Keep those shells going. Come on. Get another one in there. Ooh. This is really not where we want to be. Yeah, I know we're taking fire. Come on. Get that shell in. Don't think that actually did anything. Looks like they're serious. Well, we're serious too. I don't think our shells are doing anything here. Now we can switch shells. Armor piercing. Let's go for some armor piercing. Again, I don't think that really did much. What else have we got here? High explosive. Suppose we can go for some high explosive. Come on. Okay, come on. Oh, God, we can't. Right, let's back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. Back up, come on. Get that, get that sight down. Yeah, you literally, like, I'm, I'm using the shoulder buttons and the D buttons. You won't even scratch him with the heat around. Okay, so guess we're not using heat. Uh, what's... Right, can we go back? Why are we using the gun? How do we... Okay. Armor piercing. Let's just stick with AP. Can we go into the gun site, please? Thank you. Now, where is he? Let's try that again. Right, you little bastard. Ooh, we hit him. Nice. Panzer IV destroyed. But there was another one up there as well. That's the trouble. All right, let's roll forwards. Ready to shoot. Good stuff, Loader. I said forwards, fool! 
Let's move this bag of bolts. I have no idea, like, how much health we have. Oh, look, there are dudes. Uh, well, I think we just ran most of our dudes over, but that's fine. Let's get some analog controls going on here. Ooh, one o'clock. There he is. Right, let's load up. Why can't we fire? Can't actually fire the main gun. This is a problem. Why can't we fire? There we go. Okay, I'm not sure why we couldn't fire the main gun then. <gasps> We're done! No! We got taken out! We're finished. Bailout. Um. Okay. This game really throws you in at the deep end. Like. Man, the controls. So to control the tank, you use all of the shoulder buttons. Use the D-pad, or the, an the left analog stick, to aim the turret. And then you've got the face buttons that are doing other shit. Man, my head. And let's retry. Let's give that another go. Now we have a little bit of more of an idea of what we're doing. Um, I wish we could change the controls. I, I think that's... Like, this game seems like it could be a lot of fun. If you want to spend the time on the buttons. Learning the buttons. It's very hardcore. Like a lot of these games were, I suppose, back in the day. I mean, I, I'm getting the feeling that we shouldn't really... Oh, God. We found the enemy. Right, let's move to engage. Let's push through the hedge. Yeah. Right, let's go. Yeah, taking massive damage. What? Okay. Roll up. Come on. Get this piece of shit moving. Right, we're dialed in. Okay, that was wildly off target there and I've got no idea like how much health we have come on send that shell yes good night good fucking night son alright next target he's opening up on our friendlies where is he though Just gonna send shells his way. Man, our bloody loader is so slow. Alright, let's just roll forwards. Let's see if we can get ourselves into the fight. And this tank is slow as fuck, as you'd imagine. Right, spotted an enemy. I know we've spotted an enemy. I'm not really sure where he is. Alright, let's go into the gun sights. Ooh! Okay, that was like a random shot in the dark. We actually took him out. Hands of four destroyed. Right, roll forwards. Let's just keep this going. At least we can go over like walls and trees. Look at this. This is really cool. Never really got this sort of detail in PlayStation games. Found another enemy. Right, let's dial him in. Why? Okay. I think that's an enemy tank up there. What are you shooting at? Uh, I think this guy up here. Check your aim better. Shit. Okay, oh, am I hitting my own guys? I'm not sure. I'm hoping not. Alright, we'll just keep plowing forwards. 
You can hear small arms fire. Trouble is, you can't see through the trees, you know. <laughs> Realistic, I suppose. Still got that guy over there. And we've got him dead ahead. Let's try cutting through the trees. Don't want two tanks on either side, though. That's the trouble. Three tanks. Oh, shit. Let's move in to engage this one. Kind of getting the controls down a little bit now. Right, come on. He's turning. Oh, God. That thing's gnarly. Come on, reload. Get another shell in there. Come on. Ooh. Should have hit the side of his armor there. Come on. Turn your tank. Yeah, we got ya. Smoked him. But, I th yeah, we're getting hit. Let's back up. Back up. Let's get our front armor towards the enemy. Because that's where we're strongest. Roll forwards. Oh, we've got another one on our side. Okay, I don't know what we're hitting here. Just literally taking shots in the dark. Just hoping that we're going to hit something. Give me another round. Hope, hurry. Come on, come on. I don't know, actually, if shouting at our gunner is actually doing anything. Ready to shoot. Okay, let's fucking move this thing. Ah, target sighted. Come on, send around his way. Come on, get another shell. Get it going. Come on, come on, guys. Time is money. Come on. Oh, they're loading so slowly. Yes! Another Panzer out of commission. Next one. I can't see him. Is that him? I think that's him over there. He's quite far away, though. Ooh, hello. Let's turn towards the enemy. See if we can face the son of a bitch. Oh, God, we are down and out. Whew, we're finished. Bail out. Right. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave this here. Um, this is really quite cool. I might look some more information up on this game. It's bloody hard because you can't really make out what you're doing or what you're seeing. But at the same time, that's the point. This is fun. This is really tactical. I, I can definitely get the simulation side of it. Visually, it's like uh, the scenery and everything's quite poor, I think. But the actual tank models are nice. And there's a nice weight and heft to it. And the controls are, they're kind of overwhelming. But once you've used it for a little while, it's, I don't know, it's not too bad. I could definitely get used to it. Um, there is no information on how much health you have. I think you've just got to hope and pray that the shell doesn't penetrate. Uh, I don't think there's a health bar per se. Yeah. Yeah, I think if I had this game back in the day, I think I could have really gotten into it. I think I might have got frustrated with it in the end. It's quite interesting that we can, like, still move and stuff even though we're destroyed but yeah not bad not bad i don't think i would have the patience to play it now um because we've moved on from these archaic controls but for something that's what 20 years old there's no date on this game well, at least 20 years old. Maybe older. 
It's incredibly impressive. Very good stuff. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at Panzer Front. It's, yeah, pretty cool. Um, as I said, I would have really enjoyed this back in the day, I think. Anyway, thanks for you guys. See you soon.